Hello there and welcome to a new geoprogramming video. Today we are going to learn how to add geospatial data to the Postgres, like in this case with the extension PostGIS. Uh, first thing that you need to know is that I'm not going to show how to install Postgres neither PostGIS because I think that there are a lot of videos and tutorials that already do that so I will just keep some of them in the description we are going to just be focused on how we can add this special data in the database so if you see I'm already in the PJ admin which is like the visual part of the post Grass, even though they are in reality two different things but I think that is like what everyone is using if you don't want to use the console so here I created a JS database like the name it's not relevant but this is a database the database that we are gonna use uh, today so if you see uh, usually when you have in Postgres it's just this schema which is the public one but here with the post uh, GIS extension, you have also this uh, cron and these topology schemas. And inside public, you have by default uh, the spatial reference system. So we, what we are going to do is just take a pair of coordinates and just uh, we will create a point. So to do so, you can come here to tables and you can create table and we are gonna call it like test so now the important part for the uh, your, your special data what we are gonna use it is called well-known text so it's one of the ways where how you, like that you can use to add data that your special data to Postgres and if you see like it's really simple you have like point and then you add the coordinate or a line polygon you can do everything here and if you see PostGIS has this function where you can add uh, the well-known text here and you can also add the reference system as an integer here so we're gonna use this formula and we're gonna add uh, the city of Sofia in Bulgaria so we first will add the longitude and then the latitude but First, let's create the, the column. So we can add from here a new column that is called name, sorry. And this can be a character of like about length of, the, of 20, sorry. And then uh, we will add the geometry. So we we'll call it location. And you have like here different options, but basically the geometry one is the one that's interesting for us and we're gonna save this okay so now if you see we have here the the test like the test table and if we check how like we wanna see who is the table it has here the name and it has the the location columns but they are empty so let's add some data mm. I don't recommend and I'm pretty sure that it's not possible to add uh, just special data manually here like adding a row and just adding manually because you need to insert it with this function so it's not like you add directly the well-known text or you will see how it is storage in the, the just special uh, data and it's something that it's not human readable so I, I always prefer to use the console here and what we are gonna do is to insert in the table that we were using here this table so insert into uh, sorry into uh, here the table the values as we are gonna add both like I guess that you all know SQL but as we are gonna add just two attributes like all the attributes that it has we don't have to specify like which attribute and what we're gonna fill and here we're gonna use uh, this formula that I was showing you before so we take this st here 
ST Geom from text and what we are gonna add here it's like first the well-known text and then we will add the 426 uh, which is like regular uh, reference system and for the point as I said uh, we are gonna use the pair coordinator we saw for Sophia so here we have this and it should say like point here so point uh, look a couple of things here one important thing is that you need to put this like inside here like as a string and then that it is just divided by a space it don't need in fact it will not work if you try to add here a comma so once we have here if i'm not wrong like there's one here and this one here and another one here so this should work one important thing here as well is that if you don't use reference system we run this and okay so yeah my bad i, I didn't add sophia so it is taking all that stuff as the first uh, argument like the first attribute like if you remember its name so here my bad uh, Sophia and then the second one is this one now it should work yeah it is working so if we run this again we get Sophia and we get the location and one important thing before we finish this first episode is that if you add the location without uh, the reference system you are not gonna able to do this so if you click here you can see the location but it's gonna show this without a base map because basically it has not like any reference system so if you see here we had created our point called Sophia and this is the easiest way like my feeling to add your special data here so thank you for watching and we will uh, keep going this series about PostGIS see you